All right, are we ready? Yeah. Let's count it down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and let's play a game. Where am I? I know it might be really tough for a lot of you to identify exactly where I am, but if you don't know where I am, that's okay. And if you do, cool, but I'm not telling you. So this is where we are. If you could figure it out for yourself, you could figure it out. If you know, you know, I'll put it that way. Um, but guess what, guys, we are here doing a I'm just, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. All right, we're here in Washington, D.C. Yes, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. So for those of you who aren't familiar, that is the White House behind me. Yes, the Presidential White House, uh, the uh, one of the biggest, you know, well, the home of the president in the United States of America. So today we are here for the Z Burger. Yes, the world famous Z Burger eating contest. This is the biggest burger eating contest in the world. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. I literally flew all yesterday all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia. I literally flew across the country slash continent um, to get here. It's been a long day. We got in super, super early this morning. So pretty much it's just been, uh, you know, trying to make do with that and get ready for this contest. So it's a 10 minute all you can eat burger contest. Um, there are gonna be the likes of Molly Schuyler, Dan Killer Kennedy, uh, Andy Poole, um, some really, really great eaters. I've never been in the Z-Burger contest before, but I've been wanting to do this for years. And so uh, this year I made a point of doing it. Um, if you've been following me at all or following my recent history, I don't know, whatever you want to say, um, I've had some real issues with my side uh, very, very recently. In fact, just a couple days ago, I was informed that it is um, some cartilage and connective tissue damage. and. If I didn't have all these trips planned out, I would not be doing this contest. I would not be um, doing this trip at all. So this could be my last contest or some of my last food things for quite a while. Uh, this is gonna take some time to heal, that's for sure. Hopefully, hopefully less than more. But let's just say every time I breathe or have any movement, I'm in pain. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a, eh, you know, this is not probably the smartest to be doing a contest, but I've been wanting to do this for years, literally for years. Uh, since I started competitive eating, so let's say, you know, four, maybe even five years at this point. So I'm super excited, though, to be able to be here. Um, yeah, it, I, it's a, like I said, it's a big legendary contest in the capital, yes, Washington, D.C., guys. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, if there's any more details, I'll get you those. I believe the burgers are supposed to be a about a quarter pound each. Now, I don't know if that's just beef or beef and bun, but they are just beef and bun burgers. There is no toppings, there is no dunking allowed. You're only allowed to drink water out of water bottles. Uh, real quick, other fun fact, this is actually a contest where um, Furious P caught another individual cheating. Uh, there, it was a very famous kind of video, a big story at the time. Um, so yeah, only water bottles, only water, plain hamburgers. Um, I heard they're pretty tough to eat, but I'll get you some more info. That's it. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of the scenery. I'll show you around as well. And uh, that, we'll get you in here soon. So made it to Zebra, which is super cool. Pretty cool place. They have uh, 75 milkshakes on the menu, by the way, for fun. Uh, fun facts, I should say. So we got Dan and Andy, and we have Molly around here, all the other eaters, so it's super cool. It's great to see them all. It's been a long, long, long time. So, oh my God, yo, <laughs> There you go, I just got in, I'm included, I'm filming. So uh, anyway guys, I'm super excited, it should be a lot of fun. Um, the burgers are, again, I guess about a quarter-ish pound. Um, the buns are toasted, and it's gonna be difficult, only water. So anyway, that'll be fun, let's go eat some food. That's it, so we're gonna start here very shortly. You're gonna be experiencing so many different emotions today. Excitement, yes. hunger, yes. the feeling of being full, without touching a single morsel of food. Before we get everything started, 
We'd like to bring out the owner of Zebrigger. He has been out here all 13 years that we have had this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Trevivian and all these contestants here, they're not doing this for the money. They just love Zebrigger and they just want to keep eating more and more and more. That's right. Woo! Ontario, Canada. He's a fruit enforcer and number one here in Canada. You can find him on YouTube. He specializes in large food challenges, eating contests, and restaurant promotions. He encourages a healthy lifestyle and was previously a business model. Ladies and gentlemen, help him celebrate Canada Day in the USA way with Joel Hansen. All right, are we ready? Let's count it down from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, David's out to a quick start. Oh, we've got Molly and Dan Killer Kennedy moving along well. Oh, look at this, they are going quickly. Look at Dan Killer Kennedy's already through the first, as is Molly. They are eating well. Yeah, way to go, Joel. Let's make some noise for these contestants. Just 30 seconds in. All right. Well done, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome to today's video, where today we're here at the Z Burger Eating Contest. Yes, the famous Z Burger Eating Contest in Washington, D.C. So I've been trying to get to this sh uh, contest for years now, so when I kind of figured I had the opportunity, I was really glad to make it down here. Um, not the best timings in regards to my health, dealing with my quite significant injury, but nonetheless, I was very thankful that I was even able to actually make a showing here, and I figured, hey, if I don't do it now, I may never get the opportunity to do it again. Really, you are never promised tomorrow. That's what I have definitely been learning uh, with my injuries and stuff. So you really got to take advantage of opportunities when you have them, and uh, you know, be thankful for your health. You know that you have a day to day. So straightforward contest: a 10-minute all-you-can-eat burger contest. Um, you could only drink water bottles. Uh, you could uh, apparently not flavor them, although after the contest I saw one gentleman actually had what looks like a flavored water, but I was told no flavorings, um, which is difficult. Um, being a 10 minute contest and trying to eat as much as you can, having a alternate flavor you know, a quarter, halfway, three quarters in can really make a big difference. Um, and I would say that goes pretty much for everybody. I know, especially for myself, some people a little less difference than others. But for me, I knew that only drinking water was definitely going to make a big difference in my numbers. Um, in addition to my side uh, being quite an issue, I mean, not being able to train or do etc. Um, so this contest, uh, man, they were the best eaters. I mean, we got uh, Molly Skyler, we got Dan Killer Kennedy, and really I was going into this hoping for about fourth place. Um, I mean, I knew I definitely was not going to beat Dan or Molly. They are, like I said, they are fantastic eaters. They're very good in this kind of style, um, and especially with the foods. They're both exceptional at eating like what I'll call hard to eat foods. Uh, I enjoy, or like in a contest, I guess what I more enjoy is foods that are really soft and mush. Um, those are ones that I seem to excel a little bit better at. All these contestants standing up. Let's make some noise for them. They're three minutes through. And then with my uh, good friend Andy Poole beside me here, we had um, Dave Brunelli. We had, like I said, lots of very known eaters and experienced eaters at this table. So really, anywhere between like, I mean, even fifth, I would have been probably okay with, but I was really kind of gunning for about like fourth place. Um, you know, that's where I figured I'd probably be able to fall in. Still in the cash. Um, the cash prizes were really, really good. Um, first place was 2000 second place was 1500 third place was 1000 fourth 750 and fifth 
500. Now he's at four. You're making money today, John. Dan Rock at five. Sean Yeager with eight. Joel Hansen, 13. Andrew Pohl with 10. And then they actually even paid sixth place. Yes, sixth place, which I believe was $250. So they had a lot of money going into this contest. They distributed it you know, incredibly throughout all the eaters. I mean, paying to sixth place is super impressive. And like I said, there are some good cash prizes. Dan and Molly. 20 for Molly, 19 for Dan. And we're not even halfway through. So with over $5,000 up for grabs, I mean, everybody was definitely giving it a go, definitely doing what they can. The burgers, as we mentioned, was just straight beef and bun. If there was sauces or anything on it, again, that would have added a little bit more lubricity. Unfortunately, no ketchup was allowed in the contest. But if it was, oh, I would have had some. All right, halfway through that tray, you Are got any it. of you learning anything by watching how they eat? You got it, John. When you need a quick snack, just look at how they're doing it. Five minutes, five minutes to go. Let's make some noise for your favorite contestants out here. Even the cars getting involved. see right here our nation's capital they were playing a lot of copyrighted music so unfortunately i do have to have quite a bit of it uh kind of muted out um but i mean at this point i mean you have dan and molly absolutely killing it at that main table they're already 25 in they tied it the year prior um, each eating i believe 35 or 36 burgers and i think they were well on their way for records they were just given it so that's pretty much about that guys um that's at least the majority of the info maybe i'll hop back in a little bit but at that let's tune on in let's see if we can you know get well fourth fifth sixth third whatever place and at that let's see what happens look at these bottomless piss go they're eating more burgers in 10 minutes than I eat in like a year. What's the time? And I love me some sea burger. What's the time? How much time? Five down there for Howie. Eight down there for Dan Rock. Sean Yeager at 14. Tiger wings and things. He's flying along as well. Molly has finished tray number one with three minutes to go. Killer Kennedy working on number 29 right now. Seventeen for Andrew. Our Canadian with 19. 12 for Andy down at the end. Last row, last row. Howie is enjoying those burgers as best he can. We're making money today. We love seeing Howie out here. Howie loves himself as E Burger. And you'll find out why after the contest is over. You know why? Because we're going to be buying you all some burgers because you're out here today. Two minutes, two minutes remain. Thirty-three for Molly. Does she have the ability to get the forty this year? We'll find out in ninety seconds.
One minute remaining in the independent Seaburger Burger Eating Championship. Test, you know, no reversal rule, which you're kind of observing now. Um, I'll use the opportunity to, you know, just kind of thank everybody at Z Burger. They were super cool, great staff, great people. So glad they put this event on. I hope to maybe be able to come back one day. And uh, shout out to everybody that came by. Super cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, Z Burger, definitely a time and a good place to visit. And the two minutes is up. Scorekeepers, please hold your scores up. Keep them up while the judges come through. We will let you know when it is okay to come into Z-Burger. Again, please do not touch the food or the drinks that are on the tables. They will be disposed of. Our judges are going through to confirm all of the scores. got friends here in DC that's why she moved to Maryland she knows she's got a big fan club out here you know she loves the sea burgers our third place winner he's you guys, you guys, you guys drink so much water <laughs> That's good, yeah. This is not a water drinking. I drank, uh, yeah, maybe six. Yeah. 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 a trophy? I thought you were that for her. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Oh, he's going on social media. <laughs> I missed it. Dan just got second with um, okay, 36. So killed it. Killed it. Killed it. We didn't just fill this in. Seven years she's won it. This is number eight in a row. Woo! Champion. Let's go, Molly. Taking home two thousand dollars and about two thirds a tray of burgers for her family. With 37 burgers eaten. Here in this wonderful year of 2022, Molly Skyler! Killed it! Woo. Job guys, crushed it. Molly! Alright everybody, so we finished up. I'm definitely in a bit of pain, not gonna lie, but we did get third, which was amazing. That was honestly better than I thought. I was hoping for like, I mean third was great. But I was like, hopefully fourth, fourth would have, if I got less than fourth, I would have been disappointed. If I got fourth, I would have been totally content. Third, I'm actually pretty uh, surprised. We did okay, 26. So you shout out to Molly, uh, 37, Dan, 36. They crushed it. We did get a big trophy, which is cool. And uh, they do offer to the contestants um, free food here. So I've had enough burgers, but they do have 75 different kinds of milkshakes and stuff, so maybe I'll get a milkshake just to top it off, but we're gonna get going here momentarily, guys. But yeah, huge thanks to Peter, everybody here at Sea Burger. Really cool contest. I'm glad it uh, happened. Really thankful we're able to do it. But I, I am, I, yeah, 
I don't know, pray for me for my side. I'm definitely in a lot of discomfort right now with it being uh, stretched out. So anyway, that's that guys. So thanks for watching. Z Burger, a lot of fun. Till next time. And here we have the grounds outside the White House. Usually I think there's fountains there, some big trees. Very green area. Of course, there is a heavy security presence in the area. We have some statues and of course, the famous very, 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 very famous White House. So we have quite the, uh, quite the fence, I will say. And then, there you go, everybody. There is the White House. The White House with a very well manicured lawn. <laughs> a well uh, manicured flower garden. Nice little fountain. And uh, yeah, very, very notorious and notable building. So now when I was in DC last time, we also went and saw the, uh, uh, what is it, the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Monument, the George, Bo the George W. Bush Monument Tower thing. Um, we saw all kind of the sites and they're all fantastic. They're all amazing. Um, there's some really cool architecture in the city here as well. I'm gonna see how much time we have. We have a little bit of time. I might be able to try to get in one more of these sites. I can see the uh, Bush Memorial, Bush Monument, whatever it's called. I'm literally just over there, the tower. So we'll see if we got time. But yeah, DC is definitely a really cool spot that I personally would recommend checking out. And we're heading towards the uh, Washington and Lincoln Memorials. These are some of the sites of this kind of downtown area. Um, again, just very pleasant architecture, definitely some old set buildings, definitely some new. This, I think, if I remember, I want to say that was like a bank or something, like, if not, that looks like a something something bank, or maybe that was the bank, that building there. It's funny how, you know, you can kind of remember, well... <laughs> That's what my memory tells me from six plus years ago, but we will see. All right, and this is the um, Smithsonian Square, I think they call it, or Smithsonian something something. Um, there we have the Washington Monument. I am, unless I get a really like quick and easy uh, parking spot, I'm not going to. That is one of the things works of downtown DC. It's a little difficult to park, especially at this day. This is a work day. Oh, we have lots of food trucks here, all lined up along um, the area, though, which is kind of cool. I guess they are, uh, I mean, it goes all the way down there. They're obviously catering to all the tourists and vendors here. Parking it close, that's for sure. But yeah, so that's Washington Monument. Um, let's see if we can see the Lincoln Memorial at least potentially from the road. And if we can't see the actual memorial, which is a great big statue, which is beautiful, beautiful. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was cut like in, let's say it's, I don't know how many, I don't remember how many pieces, but let's say it's like 10 marble pieces. I think they're actually cut in like London or England or somewhere weird like that. And then transferred to America. There's some interesting history. Uh, it's been all many years, like I said, since I've heard that, but pretty cool nonetheless. So let's see if we can see it again, but all these sites and all these buildings are just awesome. And uh, like I said, if I had a little bit more time, we would absolutely be getting on out. Like, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a huge monument. Like, it, 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 of course, right now you can't really tell. Uh, you know, I might actually, oh, maybe I could actually park. Um, and then we have the World War II mem uh, Memorial uh, over there too, which is just breathtaking. Alrighty, so here it is, at least part of the Lincoln Memorial. Um, fun fact, this road is called Henry Bacon, Henry Bacon Drive. 
Maybe it's supposed to be like Hungry Bacon Drive. I don't know. Maybe there's uh, you know some some thing involved. Look, we have these great big gold statued men on horses. Again, just crazy architecture. And then like the size of that thing is just monstrous. Um, yeah, I think that's probably all we're gonna all we're gonna get to see at least. Uh, at least without doing some serious parking and navigating. So due to time's sake, I think that's gonna be all uh, which we are going to include, at least for the Washington and Lincoln Memorial, unfortunately also later in the day. Um, I have to like leave DC immediately after the contest and drive up to New Jersey. Uh, which is, you know, I, I, I am a little disappointed, honestly, um, that I'm not going to see more of these sites. Like I said, I remember having incredibly positive thoughts about DC. I thought it was so cool. In fact, we had um, very, like, I, would, I don't want to say low expectations, but I had no expectations the first time I came here in 2016. Then when we came, we were incredibly shocked. We were just like, wow, this is phenomenal. And uh, I gotta say, I, although I remember having that pleasantry, I, it's very similar surprise. It is honestly, yeah, I see this and I'm like, wow, this is way cooler and more beautiful than I remember or like than I thought. So. I'm not gonna lie, oh here we go, we're also heading into a, um, I'm just following the road, I mentioned an American National Cemetery, uh, yeah, American National, or no, sorry, Arlington National Cemetery, um, which I don't think we're really gonna pull into, so I'm gonna take the exit, um, but yeah, we're gonna get over towards the contest a little bit, but I have to say, like I said, DC, Super cool, super incredible. Yeah, I don't know if I have time. Probably not, so that's unfortunate. But in that case, I'm just gonna have to come back. Like I said, my, oh wow. Can you see that? Look at this, uh, I hope you guys, that is, man, that is a lot of uh, little tombstones. Um, God be with them. Uh, thank you for those who died in service. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else I was saying, but that's it. So long story short, I have to come back to DC. It's super cool. I love this place. Um, I forgot how cool, like how beautiful and stunning it was. So yeah, we're gonna head to the contest. That's it. Let's go eat. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.